Hello, Simon Cole, Chief Constable of Leicestershire Police. Uh, in last week's vlog, I mentioned the fact that we were getting our homework marked by Her Majesty Inspector of Constabulary. Uh, that homework came in last week. It came in actually on election day, so you might have missed it. Uh, that homework said that we were good across all of the categories inspected uh, by Her Majesty's Inspector of Constabulary. So that's efficiency, effectiveness and legitimacy. Uh, I'm really proud of that and I'd want to pay tribute to the hard work of officers, staff, special constables, volunteers, cadets and everybody that's made that happen. Uh, obviously there's always more to do but it's a really strong report, probably as strong as we've had in a long while, which considering the financial pressures we've been under uh, is quite an achievement. Other things, well we're still recruiting, the uh, recruitment window for police officers has been extended till the 14th of May. Uh, if you are from our local communities, we'd really welcome an application from you. We want a police force that looks like and is like the communities that we serve all across Leicester, Leicestershire and Rutland. Uh, there is still some chance to get an application in and we have extended the deadline because of the number of people that have started those applications. So it will be a competitive and strong process, which is good. In the meantime, we've also recruited some very cute specialist search dogs. Lucy, Steam and Bear have all joined us this week uh, and they're specialist dogs who uh, have been trained to sniff out digital related evidence. Don't ask me how that works, but apparently it does. Uh, and lastly, by, by no means least, uh, you may have seen that Op Lionheart, our operation aimed at targeting those bringing drugs and criminality into local communities has rolled on. Um, I'm going to punt on 138 search warrants done, but that number changes uh, almost by the day. Significant numbers of property search, significant numbers of recoveries of evidence, significant numbers of people charged, all about trying to put pressure on those that bring drugs and criminality into local communities and of course supporting victims too. So I want to pay tribute to the team that have done those warrants, uh, basically done in four working weeks, which is a remarkable achievement and a huge volume of work on top of business as usual, 24-7, every day. Thank you.